What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. In today's video, we're back on the Daggers and Pets Only Let's Play, and I've got a couple of things to share with you today. I feel like I've exhausted what there is to do on the Isle of Sipta. Sure, there are things that I haven't done, like I haven't received a purge, and I haven't done the surge at the Lay Shrine. But I really feel like those things could be missed in a Let's Play and really not affect the Let's Play outcome. In this video, we are going to head right up to this area. This is the last area that I feel like I really haven't conquered the bosses on the map. So we are going to head up there and conquer those today. That being said, I am going to transfer Phoenix out of this server and onto another server. And currently, you guys can vote for what I do next. That's on the community tab, and I'll link that in the description of this video. I've also switched up my build. I'm not going to go over that in this Let's Play, but I will make a video showcasing this build, so watch for that in the future. Without further ado, let's get right into this episode and we have Brutus and Jelly with us, and we are going to head up and start fighting those bosses. Something that I should probably mention is that I will be changing my playstyle as well. It will not be daggers and pets only. You guys can feel free to let me know what style of gameplay you might want to see, and I'll take that into consideration. However, with that being said, Brutus will not be joining me on the next part of my journey. Alright, so we have reached the area that I wanted to get to, and we are going to buff up and head in. The other thing that I'm going to do is actually park my horse here, because I don't need him in the way while I'm doing these fights. So for this, we are using the Daggers of the Outer Dark and the Claws of the Great Wolf. Probably going to stick mostly to the Daggers of the Outer Dark, since they do apply Sunder, and it is going to make a difference when fighting all the undead enemies. The first guy that we want to fight is right up in here. And I'm not sure how easily Brutus is going to have a, uh, a chance to get up in here. So we'll see if he shows up for this fight. We are going to start right off without him. All right, so there's the end of that. Not a whole lot of great loot out of him, but we'll take it anyway. Does he drop anything in his inventory? I don't believe he does. Now, quite possibly the most annoying part of getting to all these enemies is the skeletons and the undead hyenas that are just littered in this area. You really want to clean all of those out as best as you can before going to fight any of these bosses. I'm actually going to set Brutus to a 15 meter follow distance. That way he's just not right up in me the entire time here. Hopefully that gives me a little bit of breathing room from him as he is rather close to me. He is trying to attack everything that I'm trying to attack. I wonder if I have him on protect me or attack all enemies. We'll have to take a look here in a second. Let's go ahead and change his engagement to attack all enemies and just let him run amok. Now there is a boss right there, but I do want to go around the front because there are more small enemies to kill around the front and I don't want them interrupting our fight. 
And it should be two more to pull down and a skeleton. A couple skeletons, actually. Okay. Brutus, you're in my way, bro. You fight them. Let me fight these guys. And we have the big guy down here. That'll be all right. So we're going to get right into the boss fight here. Raise your fist in the air. 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 Okay. Raise your fist in the air. 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 All right. Alright, so there we go. And just a fragment of power off of that one. Okay, so we have cleared all of those bosses in this area. We did get some decent loot. We got the blind sight and the maelstrom light. So both of those are very cool. Okay, so I couldn't remember if I'd actually come out and defeated the forlorn souls that are down here. So there's two of those in this area that I'm going to defeat real quick. Let's let's take care of this spooter that's causing me issues. Okay, so let me show you where we're at on the map. We are right here. It's right around the tower, so there's a, a boss right here, and then there's a boss over here as well. They are both forlorn souls, so they essentially look like the boss glowy guys, these blue guys here, but in boss form, but they're also gold in color. So we're going to go ahead and fight both of them real quick. They do have some different things that they do when you fight them. So it should be kind of cool. Let's go ahead and we'll just place our horse right there. We don't need him in the way. And there he is right there at the end of this bridge. So let's go ahead and take this guy out as well.
Okay, well that was fun, and uh, he fell all the way down there. He does have some loot, so let's go ahead and get our horse to follow us, and then we'll go down and see what kind of loot he actually has. All right, all the way down to the bottom, and let's see. What did, what did you actually have there, buddy? Uh, some, wow. Why won't it let me open his inventory? Okay, that's, uh, that's a little weird. Um, we'll just take it all, and then we'll look at what it is in our inventory. Okay, so we got the pickaxe, and we got the infectious reach. The infectious reach is a rather good pike. It does a lot of poison damage. So we can now head over and fight the next guy. Along came a spider. Ow! Ow, bro. Whoa, where'd he go? Oh, where'd they both go? Did his teleport back up here? Oh, hot dang. There's a there's a big old spider right there. Why is it walking around? Ow! Okay, well, all right, where'd it go? Brutus, how do you get yourself into these situations with all of these enemies all at once? I don't understand it, buddy. I really have no idea where that spider went, guys. Okay, what do you think? Should I solo this guy? We'll leave, uh... We'll leave Jelly. We'll place Jelly uh, right there. And then for Brutus, we're just going to tell him to stop following right there. We're going to go solo this guy. Go ahead and whack that like button for the solo. Let's see how we do. These guys are a little bit easier, honestly, because they do stagger. So as long as I can keep him staggered, we should be perfectly fine. It'll just take us a little while to kill him. So here we go. Let's get to it. Okay, there we go. So, as you can see, you could just stagger them. Now, he did hit me a couple of times, just so you know, he does do acid damage to your armor. So, every time he hits you, he will do acid damage. We did get the Curved Slayer from him, so we'll go ahead and take that. And 
I don't think there's any real important chests back here. It doesn't look like it. There is some magenta dye. I'm probably running low on that. We'll go ahead and grab it just in case. But there you go, soloed one of the forlorn bosses. And I know that there's some of you that have questions about how I did that. And again, I will tell you guys when I do my video showing you guys this build. All right, so that is it for this episode. Make sure that you go over and vote for what I do next. I will do one more Let's Play episode on the Isle of Sipta, Daggers and Pets only. And basically, it's just going to be me showing you what I'm leaving the Isle of Sipta with to give you an idea of what might be important for you to take with you should you be doing a server transfer yourself. I'd like to thank all my YouTube members for their continued support. Y'all are absolute legends. If you'd like to become a legend, click the join button on this page to get all the details. There's two videos on the screen. Pick one of those to watch next and I'll meet you over there.